Hello everyone, it's that solar guy Jeff Van Dam, and I'm in our shop today in our training lab uh, where we have two uh, string inverters mounted to our laboratory mock-up wall here. And I thought it would be a good opportunity to do a little product overview. And so today I want to talk to you about string inverters, specifically the uh, SMA Sunny Boy inverters. Uh, we have a 5,000 watt inverter over here and a 3,000 watt inverter over here. This one of course has the covers on it and this is kind of what's going on behind the scenes. The basic, purposes of, basic purpose of the inverter is to turn the DC electricity coming down from the roof from the solar uh, panels from the array and convert it into AC power and send that back uh, to your main service panel and into the household loads or if it's a surplus back into the grids. So that's its main function is to turn the DC power into AC power. They are rated by size. We always talk about inverters by the wattage. They uh, range in the very small ones from maybe 700 watts uh, up to some of the biggest ones are around 10,000 watts. Um, average is probably about a 6,000 watt inverter. Um, can't really tell, but they're heavy. They have a lot of uh, copper coils in here. Um, each one of these weighs about 150 pounds. So this is definitely like a two guy lift and uh, needs to be structurally uh, mounted into your uh, wall. Uh, we recommend lag bolting into the, into the rafters. Uh, they can be mounted either inside or outside. They have a NEMA 4R rating for uh, my electrician friends out there. Uh, in the magazines you see them advertised um, bolted to a rock in Antarctica or uh, bolted to a steel pole in, um, in the desert with the uh, crackling mud. Right? So these things are mounted on uh, all seven continents. So as far as where to mount it on your house, you can mount it in the garage or on the outside. My preference is to mount it inside. It is uh, sophisticated electronics and um, heat is its enemy. So whenever possible, um, if I can choose, I will mount it on the inside. Um, warranty. Manufacturer warranties are 10 years. You can buy extended warranties. Uh, some manufacturers, like the microinverters, not, not the ones I'm talking about today, actually go up to 25 years. So uh, minimum 10 year warranty coming out of uh, just factory price. Um, they're very low maintenance. Uh, there's not a lot of filters or anything like that to clean. Nothing to back flush or anything like, like a pool pump. Um, there are some uh, fans that suck in some air right here. So if you are in a really dusty environment, I would recommend uh, checking those out every once in a while. But as long as you see the little green light on the, uh, on the cover panel here, they all should be pretty good. Uh, a lot of these inverters nowadays have monitoring. That's what you're seeing over here. Um, on your right is a monitoring box where the output from these inverters uh, go into the portal and you can then from uh, your laptop or your smartphone you can access the production of your system. So anyhow that's a little overview about the, uh, the SMA inverters. Um, this below here is the DC disconnect. Uh, it's integral. Historically these things were separate and you had a separate switch for this. Uh, it's a very nice looking unit. Again, it's about two feet by about a foot and a half, and preferably mounted in your garage. If you've got any other questions about string inverters, give us a call. We love talking solar, love to hear about your project. Thank you.